Day two of the port strike as more than 40,000 dock workers are asking for more pay and protections against automation. The union has support from President Biden and now the truckers who would also haul the ship's cargo on the road are also throwing their support. The truck drivers could also be out of a job once final deliveries are made from what's already at the docks. But they were seen honking their horns as they drove past picket lines today. And while we still don't know how long this strike might last, we do know how much it could hurt the economy if this goes on. Is typically not the growing season of the U.S. So if this prolongs a month, two months, three months, be prepared to see prices relatively higher in the grocery store. And it will certainly hurt the U.S. economy. The estimates are $5 billion a day could be lost in the U.S. economy. This map shows shipments expecting to come into the East Coast. That's about 120 ships on their way here with no one to unload their cargo once they get there. Outside of New York and New Jersey ports, several ships have already dropped anchor. They're now waiting, cooling their heels for the strike to end. The dock worker strike may have this ripple effect. It likely will all the way across the country, including here in Arizona, depending on how long this lasts. Fox 10's Brian Webb live with details tonight. Brian. Well, guys, up to 60% of all imports come into this country from the East Coast and the Gulf Coast. The good news, mostly it's not the things you find at the store, food, water, or even toilet paper, but that's not stopping some shoppers from stocking up. This video from inside a big box store shows shoppers loading pallets full of toilet paper and water, a repeat performance of the pandemic. I think that I'm stocking up on just everything that I possibly can because I think the grocery stores are going to be empty. I really don't think it's affecting anybody in there. They're just taking, they're just getting what they normally would get from the looks of things. The strike could impact everything from car components to clothes and some perishable foods like bananas, but not the staples you find at the store. Our ports are the front front door uh, of the country and, and of our supply chains. And they're sort of closed right now on one side of the country, and especially for things coming from South and Central America and for Europe, that's going to be a big issue. Roger says most of the items like food, water, toilet paper, and baby formula are produced in the U.S. and do not need to be imported. But things like bananas, chocolate, coffee beans, and some alcohol do. So they may be delayed and end up costing more. It's not really a matter of we're not going to be able to get stuff here because there is other ways into the country. The problem is they're going to be more expensive ways. And we will see some inflation uh, probably reflected as an impact of this strike if the strike goes on for more than two or three weeks. And the longer the strike lasts, the bigger mark it'll make. No, I don't think it'll be a problem. You don't think it'll be? Because, you know, when it's COVID, it's different. Because when it's COVID, every, everything has to be shut down because they are afraid to be sick. It'll eventually wear off. <laughs> so I already had stocked up for a while now. I, I replenish mine every so often. Since COVID, I replenish. Zach Rogers go, goes on to say that the dock strikes typically don't last more than a few weeks anyway. In a pinch, President Biden could order them to go back to work, but he can't make them work hard when they get there. Live in Phoenix, Brian Webb, Fox 10 News.